fastest way to find which of two lists of columns of each row is true in a pandas data frame. I'm looking for the fastest way to do the following. We have a pd.data frame. That looks like What I want to know is which one of the high 1, high 2, high 3 float values is the first that is larger or equal to the high value. If there is none, it should be in p.nan. And the same for the low 1, low 2, low 3 value, but in this case which one of them is the first that is lower or equal to the high value. If there is none, it should be in p.nan. At the end I need to know which one, low or high has come first. One way to solve this is in a weird and not too performant way as Which gives me As I have to do this over and over again in many iterations where high slash low will be different, performance when doing this is key. So I wouldn't mind if the high 1, high 2, high 3 and low 1, low 2, low 3 would be in a separate data frame that is transposed or if it would be in a dict or whatever. So the process to prepare the data in whatever gives the best possible performance can be slow and awkward. One solution I worked on but just couldn't get finished to work in a vectorized way and that also seems quite slow it is. So checking for which one of the columns it is true in that first row and then looking at the index number of np.where. Looking forward to any suggestions and hope to learn something new. Smile. Here's a vectorized approach with NumPy Broadcasting. Sample output. Test your high N columns against the high column. Now replace false with np.nan and ask for the column index of the min or max, it doesn't matter as all is true of np.nan. Same principle for the low columns with low as comparison operator. If I understood the question right, this is a semi-vectorized version. Produces Explanation the key here is that we iterate over the columns in reverse. That is we start at high 3, check if that is greater than high, and sets first high accordingly. Then we move on to high 2. If this is also greater, we simply overwrite the previous result, if not it will simply stay as is. Since we iterate in this reverse order, the result is that the first column to be higher will end up as the final result. Before I answer this anyway, then I'm going to see this video.